Good morning children. In today's class we are proceeding to exercise 10.3. Forming differential equation given an ordinary equation. From the mathematical statements try to write the ordinary equation. If there is one constant differentiate once. If there are two constants differentiate twice. That is a clue that you can remember. We are not given more than two constants. Question number one. Find the differential equation of the family of all non-vertical lines in a plane. Vertical lines as I see they are perpendicular to x axis or parallel to y axis. So parallel to y axis I write x is equal to k some constant that is there is no y term. But the question given are non-vertical lines. Non-vertical lines may be slanting like this way or this way. So definitely the equation will be of the format y equal to some x plus some constant. Since there are two constants m and c. Let me differentiate twice. So, differentiating with respect to x, y becomes y dash, first derivative. Either I can write dy by dx or I can write y dash. mx will become m into x becomes 1 plus c being constant becomes 0. Differentiating again, why do I differentiate twice? Because there are two constants. One constant tells me to differentiate once. Two constants tell me to differentiate twice. Y dash, when I differentiate, it is Y double dash. D square Y by DX square. M is a constant which becomes zero. And this is the required differential equation of non-vertical lines in a plane. Hence the problem. Second subdivision, all non-horizontal lines in a plane. Horizontal lines tell me y is a constant where constant changes to give a variety of lines. What we understand is no x term. Whereas non-horizontal lines may be like this way slanting in this way or inclined in this way so again what is the equation y is equal to mx plus c here no x term tells me here definitely x term is present so m is not equal to zero as i see two constants y equal to mx plus c m c two constants let me differentiate with respect to x y becomes y dash m into x becomes 1 c being constant becomes 0 let us differentiate once again y dash becomes y double dash m being constant will become 0 and this is the differential equation of the family of non-horizontal lines hence the problem question number two form the differential equations of all straight lines touching the circle what is the circle equation given x square plus y square equals to r square touching the circle tells me they must be tangents to the circle so tangents to x square plus y square equal to r square as we change r we will get a family of circles now let us write the tangent equation let us remember the line y equals to mx plus c touches the circle x square plus y square equal to r square if c square equals r square into 1 plus m square or I can say c is plus r minus r root of 1 plus m square. So equation of tangents will be y equals mx 
plus instead of c let us write the condition plus r minus r into root of 1 plus m square here r being radius only m is the arbitrary constant so there is only one constant to be removed so to remove that one constant let us differentiate one time with respect to x differentiating y i shall write y dash mx becomes m into 1 this fully being constant will become 0 or i get y dash equals m let us substitute substitute what m is equal to y dash in equation y equals mx plus r minus r root of 1 plus m square wherever m is coming let us substitute y dash y dash into x plus r minus r root of 1 plus y dash the whole square as we bring x y dash to the left it is plus r minus r root of 1 plus y dash the whole square whenever square root comes let us square on both the sides it is y minus x y dash the whole square equals plus r minus r becomes r square root gets cancelled as i square y minus x y dash the whole square equals r square into 1 plus y dash square is the required differential equation question number three find the differential equation of family of circles through origin and having centers on x-axis equation of circle x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square equal to r square where center is h comma k and radius is r as we see the circles having centers on x axis let us have an example here this circle it is passing through the origin say 0 comma 0 and the center is on x axis say h comma 0 as i look at it the radius is h and the center is h comma 0 since it is on x axis as i change h i will get a different circle say family of circles not one but many so the center is h comma 0 and the radius r equals h so since it is on x axis k value 0 and r the radius equals h as i substitute in the equation it is x minus h the whole square plus y square equals h square call it as 1 now we have a single constant say h to be eliminated let us differentiate equation 1 with respect to x x minus h the whole square becomes 2 into x minus h plus whenever y square is coming it is 2y dy by dx instead of dy by dx i can very well write y dash h being constant h square becomes 0 from here 2 into x minus h is minus 2y y dash or x minus h is equal to minus y y dash h is equal to bringing h here y y dash here it is x plus y y dash these two let me mark two substitute in equation number one so as i substitute one and two together imply x minus h can be written as minus y y dash the whole square plus y square what is h square it is x plus y y dash the whole square let us simplify y square y dash the whole square plus y square equals this is a plus b the whole square a square that is x square b square that is y square y dash the whole square plus 2xy y dash a square b square 2ab in left and right i can cancel the like terms 
giving us the equation y square equals x square plus 2xy y dash and that is the differential equation of the given family of circles and hence the problem. Question number 4. Find the differential equation of family of all the parabolas with the latest rectum 4a and whose axes are parallel to x-axis. Parallel to x-axis, the curve may be of the form y minus k the whole square equals 4a into x minus h. H and K are the arbitrary constants which have to be eliminated. Two constants tell us differentiate twice. Differentiating with respect to X. Y minus K the whole square. Remember X square becomes 2X. Y minus K the whole square becomes 2 into Y minus K. Whenever we have Y remember to put Y dash. K constant will become 0. 4A into X will become 1. H being constant will become 0. From here, I get what is Y minus K. After cancelling the 2 over here, Y minus K is 2A by Y dash. Call it as number 1 which we may use in this equation. Now we need to differentiate again. So differentiating with respect to x. There are two terms in the left. Keep the first term. Differentiate the second term. Y dash when I differentiate becomes Y double dash. Plus keep the second term. Differentiate the first term. Y will become Y dash. K will become 0. Equals 2A is a constant which becomes 0. Call this as number 2. From 1 I get Y minus K which I can substitute in 2. So I say 1 comma 2 implying. In the place of y minus k, I can put 2a by y dash into y double dash plus y dash the whole square equals 0. Or cross multiplying 2a y double dash plus y dash into y dash the whole square becomes y dash the whole cube that is 0. And this is the differential equation required. Question number 5. Find the differential equation of the family of parabolas with vertex at 0, comma, minus 1 and having axis along y axis. Equation of family of parabolas with axis along y. We will be writing x minus h the whole square equals 4a into y minus k. Here the vertex h, comma, k is given as 0, comma, minus 1. Substituting 0 and minus 1, we arrive at x square equals 4a into y plus 1. Only a is the constant given, so only one constant differentiate only once. As we differentiate with respect to x, x square becomes 2x, 4a, y becomes y dash, 1 being constant becomes 0. From here. What is A? It is 2x by 4y dash or I can say x by 2y dash. In this equation, let me call number 1. Let us substitute A value. So, substitute A equals x by 2y dash in equation number 1. x square is 4 into what is a x by 2 y dash into y plus 1. As we cancel x on both the sides and 2. We get x into y dash equals 2 into y plus 2 into 1. 
Bringing the terms to the same side, we get xy dash minus 2y minus 2 equal to 0, which is the required differential equation. Question number 6. Find the differential equation of the family of all ellipses having focus on y-axis and center at the origin, say 0, 0. Focus on y-axis tells us it is of the second type of ellipse. So a square will come under y, y square and b square will come under x square and we know a is greater than b. There are two constants a, b to be eliminated so let us differentiate twice. Call this equation as number 1 differentiating with respect to x. x square becomes 2x by b square plus y square becomes 2y whenever y comes remember to put y dash by a square these are coefficients retain as it is 1 is a constant which becomes 0 call this as number 2 because there are two constants we need to differentiate again so differentiating with respect to x 2 by b square, x becomes 1 plus 2 by a square into. There are two terms. Keep the first term, differentiate the second term. Keep the second term, differentiate the first term. Keep y, y dash becomes y double dash plus keep y dash, y also becomes y dash and the RHS is 0, call it as number 3. Now, let us use the determinant method to eliminate A and B from equations 1, 2 and 3. How are we to do it? We have 1 by A square term, 1 by B square term in all the equations. So, all the 1 by B square term, if I write, here I have x square, here I have 2x and here I have 2. All the 1 by a square terms together. I have y square, 2y y dash, 2 into y y double dash plus y dash the whole square. And all the RHS we are writing that is 1, 0, 0 which is equal to 0. So we have written the coefficient of 1 by B square as the first column. 1 by A square as the second column. RHS as the third column and determinant method says the determinant is 0. Second row and third row. 2 is common which can be taken out. First row write as it is x square y square 1. From second row I have taken 2 it is x y y dash 0. Third row another 2 is common I have 1 y y double dash y dash the whole square 0 which is 0. 0 by 4 is also 0. Let us expand. In the third column, we have many zeros expanding along C3. The symbols we know plus, minus, plus. These are zeros, so ignore. I am left with 1 in 2. Hide the row and column. I have x, y, y dash, 1, y, y double dash, plus y dash the whole square, which is equal to 0. As we expand the determinant, let us multiply x into y, y double dash, plus x into y dash the whole square. Minus y, y dash equals to 0 is the required differential equation. Question number 7. Find the differential equation of the family of curves represented by y equals a e power 8x 
plus b e power minus 8x where a and b are the arbitrary constants. Since there are two constants we need to differentiate twice. So call the given equation as number 1 as we differentiate with respect to x. y becomes y dash a e power 8x becomes e power 8x whatever comes in the power remember to write it. So remember the formula e power ax the derivative is a e power ax. Applying that here e power 8x becomes e power 8x into 8. The same idea here e power minus 8x becomes e power minus 8x into minus 8. In both the terms 8 is common as I remove 8 as common a e power 8x minus b e power minus 8x. Call this as number 2. Again, we differentiate with respect to x. Whenever there are two constants, we need to differentiate twice. y dash becomes y double dash. RHS keep 8 as it is. Again, we apply the same formula. e power 8x becomes 8 e power 8x minus b into e power minus 8x becomes minus 8 e power minus 8x. Again, 8 is common in both the terms. Keep 8 out. 8 into 8 will become 64 into a e power 8x minus into minus plus b e power minus 8x. As I check equation 1, a e power 8x plus b e power minus 8x is y. So, from 1, the terms in the bracket can be written as y. LHS, I have y double dash. So, bringing the terms to the same side, it is y double dash minus 64y equal to 0, which is the required differential equation. Question number 8. Find the differential equation of the curve xy equals a e power x plus b e power minus x plus x squared where a and b are the arbitrary constants. As we know two constants are given let us differentiate twice. Call the given equation as number 1. As I differentiate with respect to x. LHS there are two terms. Keep x y will become y dash plus keep y x will become 1. RHS a e power x the derivative is e power x plus b e power minus x becomes minus e power minus x plus x square becomes 2x call it as number 2. Again we need to differentiate. As I differentiate with respect to x there are two terms keep x y dash becomes y double dash plus keep y dash x becomes 1. The second term y will become y dash equals a e power x derivative e power x plus b into e power minus x will become minus e power minus x. Already there is a minus so it becomes plus e power minus x plus 2x will become 2. A e power x plus b e power minus x I have already noticed in equation 1. So from first equation what is a e power x plus b e power minus x bring x square to the left it is x y minus x square. So I am substituting that here I get x y double dash plus y dash plus y dash is 2y dash. These two together we are substituting xy minus x square plus 2 from first equation. 
bringing all the terms to the same side, we get xy double dash plus 2y dash minus xy plus x square minus 2 equals to 0, which is the required differential equation. In all these problems, we have to note a very important thing that if they give you certain constants in the equation itself, for example, in parabola, they had given 4a is the lattice rectum. In such cases, we need not eliminate a. So, in that problem, we eliminate only h and k. Whereas, in the next problem, they have not given about lattice rectum. In that case, we need to eliminate a. So, read the questions carefully. Whatever they have given, you need not eliminate. Whatever is not mentioned, we treat as arbitrary constants which we need to eliminate.